The Howard Stern Show. Do you ever get into character and stay in character on the set? Like, really? you know, like the guy who played Lincoln and he's got to walk and you got to call him Lincoln off the set. No, you uh, don't do any of that. I'm right? not that, no. No, you, you're no. an actor. Yeah, Good. I've done all that at home. I know what I'm going to do when I get to work. It's easy. You know, you don't shoot more than two and a half pages a day. <laughs> yeah. a piece of cake. Yeah. You know, you don't have to learn anything from beginning to end. Even right. though I know all the lines. I know everybody's lines. I know all this stuff. Is that so what you do to, to prepare? Work, I have fun. When Quentin hands you a script, because um, we're talking about uh, Hateful Eight today, but when he specifically hands you a script, those scripts are dense, right? This guy like, loves dialogue. Yes. Um, not too many uh, directors even do that. Mm -hmm. That's probably why you always want to be in his films, right? Yes, because it, it gives you something to do. Well, you... You explain yourself yeah. to the audience, to other people. Right. You're a completely formed character. You have relationships with people that are in the script. And what do you do to he prepare? Makes it fun. Well, you he has sit rehearsal. There. Yeah, he has rehearsal. But do you? Do you? In order, you learn the whole script right away. Is that um, your thing? No, I sit at home. I read it. I read it maybe four or five times. Then I go back into it uh, and create a biography for myself from info that's in the script and things that I'm able to make up about that character because of his relationships with other people or what he says about himself. So the key to good acting, if I, if I may, is that you sit at home, you read the script, you read about the character, and then you create a whole life for that character until you understand yeah. who he is. I do, yeah. And then when you get on set... You're you're suddenly that guy anyway because you feel like you have a lot of stuff to br to to bring with you, maybe you know where he, where he's coming from, what he was doing before he got to this situation, where he's going when he leaves that situation, what kind of food he might want to eat while he's there or it's that before specific. he got there. It can be, yeah. Do you ever uh, do you do you ever pull from someone like do you ever in a sense do an impression like of someone in your past life, you know, someone from you knew maybe from childhood. And say, oh, I'll use that guy's kind of accent. I'll use it is that, all the time. Yeah, it, that's how it's done, right? Yeah, you change your walk because you like somebody's character walk. I remember my uh, hairdresser Robert, Robert's sister had this uh, red hair that was kind of knotty. And when I saw it, I, I told him, take a picture of your sister's hair because I want to use that in a movie one day. And then I ended up using it in Negotiator. Wow. Yeah. yeah these little things yeah. are what make you human as a character. You can bring people. these guys to yeah. life. They flesh you that's, out. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why I love you know riding the subway. I still ride the subway when I'm here because I like looking at people. And I ride around in cars when I'm in other cities and check out the 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 area or or, or the the kind of culture that's different from where I am. Right. You know, yeah. it's, 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 it's really fun to do that. The Howard Stern Show.